Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm coming back with Marguerite Miller Mondays with the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. So this week is week, ba -ba -ba -ba, where is it? Week 45, guys, 45. Oh, can you believe the end of the year is almost here? Anyway, so this is the one I did last week, which was this fun Halloween page. Uh, this week, it's getting harder to work in this journal. I made this journal for this collage myself. You you can see a quick flip through in episode one of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. I think next year if I do it, I'm going to do two signatures because these round the, it's getting so rounded at the edge now, it's really hard to work in. But anyway, we're going to make the best of it because I've only got a few pages left. So I can't waste any. <laughs> um, I can't skip any. So anyway... If you do not know what the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge is, Marguerite Miller created a 52-week um, challenge where each week she gives you either a set of five prompts with a sixth bonus prompt that you can replace one of the other things with if you haven't got it, or she gives you a themed prompt. And you take either the pieces um, that she uh, gives you, like suggests, or you take the theme, sorry about that, and you collage or make a piece of art or do something crafty around that. Um, so week 45, we've got prompts this week. Something that reminds you of your grandmother, aunt or mother. I went with my grandmother. There were so many things I could have picked. So, so many. Um, but I picked a couple of things. Firstly, I picked this vintage uh, advert from one of my vintage knitting magazines. My nan loved to craft. She loved to knit and she was a super colorful and amazing woman and so she taught me to knit but I really was no good at it she came to visit one year when I was poorly and taught me how to knit and I ended up making scarves for my dolls and that was it um I'm not a knitter I'm a cross stitcher but my nan like she loved to knit she loved tapestry she loved all that kind of thing and this just reminds me of her in fact my um boys used to call her Nanny Joseph because that wasn't her name or her surname or anything but she used to wear these bright coloured cardies and things that reminded them of Joseph's Technicolor Dream Coat so there we go so this reminds me of her and also I have this that reminds me of her and this is for another prompt which is the bonus prompt a calendar page this is actually from a calendar this reminds me of her as well so I'm going to use that all these things kind of remind me of my nan um weather so i have two things i don't quite know what i'm going to use i might use this so this is from a little vintage book and it's talking about the four seasons and you've got literally the sunshine um you've got a little guy with the um rain umbrella and it says when it rains and it talks about the weather it talks about snowfalls and hot and wind so that would be fun uh, I also have this little cutout because birds also remind me of my nan and this little bird's on some snow but I think I'll use the words uh, something musical I just have some vintage music paper nothing crazy there because I want the images to kind of speak for themselves something watercolour instead of you doing watercolour on this page um, I have these they must have come with a card making magazine yeah it came with what is that making cards i i picked it i oh sorry i'm in a different filming setup so sorry if i hit the camera um but these have a watercolor look to them and flowers also remind me of my nan include especially these in pots because when she got to a certain age she she changed all of her garden into everything in pots so that she could still tend to it and then a favorite word um which i'll come to but i have little little labels that i might use for my favorite word i also have some butterflies because they remind me of my nan especially when she passed um so let's get started i want this to be a really colorful page i don't know if i want to use this page instead like we've got this page but when this is going to limit so we're only really going to see this much whereas i've got more paper here and because it's to do with my nan i'm wondering if i want um this here do you know what i'm going to use this one i know this isn't the right page but it's my book my journal my rules so i really want this i'm thinking i'm going to cut these out so i'm going to fussy cut these 
So, yeah, I just, my nan's now passed. She was like, she lived a good life and a long life and she was just an amazing woman and she taught me so much and there's so many things I remember about her and so many things that I do that still remind me of her and um, I still miss her every day uh, or not every day but you know what I mean there's things you stop and you think oh and I have little bits up around the house that um, were hers and Every time I sit down to do some cross stitch or something, I'm reminded of both her and my great grandmother, her mother, because uh, they, like my great grandmother particularly, did embroidery, um, stunning freehand embroidery. You know, they, they were so artistic. Um, I'm leaving a little border, I'm not cutting right up against it. And I just, this just reminds me of her. So. Yeah, this was a lovely one to do. So I've got that. I'm going to have to trim some of it down. See, if I put that there, you would just miss so much of it. So I could put it sideways, I suppose. I don't want to put it sideways. I don't like it sideways. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to cut some of that down there. So I'm just going to run my nail across it so that I can then trim it but yeah so let me know in the comments down below what reminds you of one of your grandparents or um maybe your mother or your aunt you know what is a favorite relative doesn't have to be a lady that you um really reminds you and like brings you happy uh, I'm going to also back with some music paper I like it that it says children's book on there and that because yeah it's to do with my grandmother so I'm going to back it in something musical just in the background because we've got all this brown space down there so let's move this a minute I'm going to trim this again so yeah let me know what reminds you oh, I love my nan so much she was quite the character she was a force of nature she really was um, and she just she made me laugh um, all the time uh, also a very intelligent woman and um, just so kind really kind um, so I feel like I want that up there like that. We do have some more. But because I also have this, I might put some of this in the background. Um, like, I don't know if I'll have it underneath or not. So I'm going to just trim it because then I might tear around it. So my nan loved gardening. Not only that, um, when I was little, really little... My nan lived, and I stayed with her a lot, in this huge house with a huge garden um, and lake. And uh, see, I just kind of like that, but I kind of like it on top like that. Um, and I just used to love, it was like the secret garden, you know that book? It was like, oh, it was wonderful to play in as a child, me and my cousins. And... Um, yeah, so the garden reminds me, and one of the things each granddaughter was left was she had these little white, like, angel cherub statues. I'm not a huge fan of cherubs, I'm going to be honest, they creep me out a little bit, but it's for my nan. And each granddaughter got left was one of the things that she left uh, that were for each granddaughter. So um, this kind of reminds me of that too, and I think I am going to use this weather like in places I mean the bird would look cute the bird would look cute but I just don't know if it goes I don't want to cut its tail off that seems mean but I would have to I would have to cut the tail off so uh, I don't know I'm going to debate that but I do love this too so um, yeah so I saw this and obviously she has passed on as well and I thought it was 
perfect for to remember that and she loved to visit graveyards that might sound weird um i love this little rain one it rains a lot in ireland <laughs> so part of me kind of wants to do that um it might sound weird but she used to love visiting graveyards and looking at all the old um graves and things which that is not straight at all it's because i cut it at a slight angle hold on guys so i don't know maybe that's why i got my love of spooky things <laughs> see i just think that looks really cute there so i'm going to do that yet um i'm not inking i'm not inking today guys i'm going to get these stuck down first and then work around so yeah, it was a, a a wonderful woman. Taught me a lot. Really inspired me in a lot of ways. Really taught me about tolerance and understanding. And you know, I grew up in Northern Ireland in the seventies and eighties, which, if anyone knows anything, is was a very difficult and troubled time. Um, for lots of reasons and my nan was never one to kind of follow the rules <laughs> to put it bluntly um she had friends everywhere and we had a lot of family in the republic too and my nan would visit everyone didn't matter who and would go to any church didn't matter because religion was such a big with ridiculous thing back home um and she always taught me she said you know be a good person and judge people on not on their religion or the color of their skin or anything like that judge them on their actions judge them on what kind of person they are and what they do in the world and so she really deeply believed that and so she always got very upset when things were really bad back home and you know everyone went kind of into I don't want to use the lock, word lockdown because it's not lockdown but everyone was kind of in their own area and that just trying to stay safe and she would be upset because she would miss all her friends of all different religions and faiths and everything but yeah, she travelled all the time by herself. She would just decide she was going on holiday. And I'm talking about in her 60s and 70s. She would just decide, I'm going away. I'm going to visit someone or I'm going to go somewhere. And she'd never really tell anyone where she was going for too long or how long she was going for. And she, Sometimes it was a week. Sometimes it was a month. And she never forgot to like phone on her grandchildren's birthdays or anything like that. She was just... She was just an amazing woman. She really did, like I say, teach me a lot. Um, and she was also very funny. And not conventional in a lot of ways. Um, even at her funeral, it wasn't a conventional one in any um, form. So, uh, yeah. I'm wondering if I want like some more music up there. So she's missed dearly by all her grandchildren. Um, but, you know, what she taught us was, you know what they say, that uh, it's better to have loved and lost sort of thing. She taught us so much. Um, so even though we all miss her so much, we're kind of lucky to have had such an amazing grandmother to kind of remember in that way. So, you know, I'm sure you've all got amazing stories of your own certain members of your family who really inspired you. Um, and, you know, she was she was such an intelligent woman as well. And we would spend hours on the phone just talking about, well, politics. You can't be Irish and not talk about politics. Um politics and history um history is a big thing in our family like 
Now, I did a history degree. My sister did a history degree. Um, my nan did history and was our gene family genealogist that then passed on to my uncle. And my nan went. You know, it's just such a big thing in our family. Um, we would just talk about all that stuff for ages. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so let's stop with all that. It make me both sad and happy. Um, I really think I want, like, I don't know if I want the one plant or whether I want to kind of cut these out and put them somewhere. I'm still debating, even though I'd have to chop that bird's tails off, a tail feather. <laughs> I feel really bad. But that's quite cute, but it covers up a lot of everything. Like, it could go up there, I suppose. What do we think, guys? I want to keep this little rain guy, because <laughs> it's so cute. And then I could have that down there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, do you know what? I do want to put this bird on. I don't know. So I'm just going to. Um, yeah, she was into wildlife. In the big house of all the gardens. We had badgers and bunnies everywhere. And, you know, she loved to fish as well my nan like really loved to fish the whole family kind of i don't fish anymore but um it's something that we kind of all grew up with and music music was a big thing so i'm glad this angel's got a harp because you know island uh and i need the watercolor so do i want a smaller one or do i just want one of these and kind of cut around it let's have a look at what i want so Anyway, as much as we miss her, I also feel very blessed to have had such a wonderful woman who influenced me. And my kids got to see her a little bit, which was lovely. Um, but, yeah, she was a very independent woman. Uh, another thing that she passed down to me. Um, very independent intelligent just very like i said she's a force of nature absolute force of nature do i want the flowers there see now i've cut them out i don't like them but we need we need something watercolory unless i cut out one of these and then put the label over it that might be quite nice so let's do that um so yeah, anyway, that's what I love about these collages. Some are fun, like last week's, where I just made it a bit Halloween-y. And then others um, have just been general collages, which are always fun to do. And then others have really been um, memory-keeping pages, you know, which... It's something you don't often think about when you think that circle isn't perfect at all. I don't, don't really mind. Uh, something you don't really think about when you think of um, collages. You don't really think of memory keeping, I suppose, with them. I mean, maybe some people do. I don't know. I feel like that one needs inking, so I'm just going to grab my ink, guys. So it just seems to be blending into the background a little bit. So I'm just using some walnut stain. I literally just grabbed the first one. We've still got these. That might look nice like they are. Or this way. It's a lot to that side though. Let's have a look. Hmm. Um, yeah, the memory keeping has been so much fun and it's been, some of it's been random memory keeping, like when I did the bit about when the Queen passed, um, and I, my collage had a bit of that on it. Hmm. Maybe it's the purples. Do I not like the purples? Do I prefer the blues? Let's try that. Sorry, faffing about now with this, but it's bothering me, so, um, I'm just going to cut that handle off because I don't need it. So yeah, it's it's been really fun. I will be doing at 
possibly the end of the year, the start of next year, I'm going to be doing a bit of a silent flip through or a, talk, a small talky flip through. I don't know which yet. Um, where I kind of show you every page of the finished journal. And it will be a quick one because obviously there are there is a playlist. So I don't need it to be... See, I'm wondering if I prefer that blue, you know. I don't need it to be in depth because obviously you can go watch the videos at any of the pages that you liked in the flip through. Um, see, that's covering up too much of the thing and I don't want it to. Nope. Do the flowers up there. I kind of want it to say four seasons though. And that's the thing and then the label would be down there. Let's try the purple up there, see if I like that one better. Hmm. What do I like better, guys? I feel like I like it down here. I'm just going to go with it. I'm faffing about too much. Um, so, yeah, I've really enjoyed that. And I will do, like I said, a quick flip through so you can see everything. And I'm hoping there's another one of these challenges next year because I've just enjoyed it so much. Um, and it's just been really helpful, like, to get me out of, like, when I'm missing mojo or to give me a break between um, projects. And I'm going to have that there, you know, guys. I feel like I want some fabric because Nan would have had fabric too. But I don't think I've got any fabric nearby that I can just use. But I might have to go get some. So, yeah, okay, so we've got all that. And now I might still put a butterfly on because why not? And then I can write my word. I really don't want to write my word, but it's quite a long word. So I don't think I'd be able to. Um, a little gold butterfly. Oh, it's so cute, the little gold one. I feel like it looks really pretty down there and I could do another one up there. I do have a green one. So we could have... Is this doubled over? We could have a green one. We've got the green vellum one. These are, I believe, Anna Griffin butterflies that I picked up. That I've had for ages. We've got a lot, really large gold one. And then we could have the smaller one down here. Oh no, I think my cat's coming. <laughs> yep, there she is. Oh, I really like that. I hope you can see they're just so sparkly and golden. And like I could put... Hello. I am busy. Please don't jump. Yeah, these are Anna Griffins. I could put... So I've got vellum. I've had these years, guys. Um, I've got vellum, but there's also... You can put them on top of a colour like that so that you get both oh I like that I like that a lot right let's find one for the little one I should see if I can find a paper one that will go with this one um, oh, why are there none okay I'm just making a mess now guys <laughs> I'm just making a mess um I suppose if necessary, I could make it like that. No, I really don't like that. This is why there's a green here, I think. Which would work because we've got green on here. So I'm going to end up doing that. This is for my Nan. So, oh, we've got a little gold one here. But then that's gold on gold. No, I'm going to use green. Um, it's for my Nan. So if I want to... If I want to, um, first of all, finish your word. If I want to make it even more beautiful, why not? Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you want a talky one, like a quick talky. I'll just quickly go through each page, which I don't know if I'll do that, to be honest. Um, I'll probably just do a silent one where you can flip through and as i was saying i really hope the the we have this challenge again next year just to give me something fun to do 
and if we do obviously I'm gonna have to make I'm not doing all the wings because sometimes I like the wings to pop up I'll just stick that down because it's vellum it wants to rise but you see the wings there flip up and so do the wings there so if I want to bend them I can um, and yeah if we are doing it next year then I really need to make another journal and I have learnt things from this journal before I make another one although I think I want to make one similar to this one just because I really enjoyed the fact that I've used such different pages um, and it's made it fun like the the differences where is the lid to my glue there it is can't not have the lid to my glue okay so the word I have chosen guys is pernickety and I realize I haven't bought a pen so hold on okay guys so I've just got this green kind of metallic pen it's just a normal zebra pen um and yeah I like the word pernickety words I like are ones that kind of roll off the tongue like I would like the word malarkey as well and I almost chose that one but I like the word pernickety I believe in the states you tend to say persnickety which I also really like and it reminds me of snickerdoodles which is another word I really like and I like to bake snickerdoodles they're obviously American more but anyway I really love the word pernickety and um it basically just means fussy. I hate my writing. And this pen, I need to. It, yeah, it basically just means fussy, you know, picky. I really do hate my writing. But, you know. So. In the UK, we tend to use the, we tend to call it pernickety if you look in the dictionary. And for some reason, when the word then went over to the states, it became persnickety. I don't know. I like both, to be honest. And like I said, persnickety then makes me think of snickerdoodles, which then reminds me of cinnamon. I love that word as well, cinnamon, cinnamon. I just love words that like roll off and are strange and unusual. So. There we have it, guys. This is week 45, which we'll do week 46 over here. But this is in memory of my nan. So many memories on there. So something reminds you of your grandmother, aunt or mother. Grandmother, 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 grandmother. <laughs> Weather. So we've got snow with the bird. And then it says snow down here, someone raining, the sunshine. That's all weather. Something musical. We've got music in the background. Something in watercolour, so we've got this like watercolour image that I just cut out. Favourite word, pernickety, one of my favourite words. And something from a calendar page, and this is from a calendar. So I really hope you like that, guys. You like the way the butterflies just kind of shimmer and their wings move and lift up and you can see the colour underneath. The green picks up the green over here. And this kind of deep pink picks up the sort of um, pinky red here as well as the pink and red in the flowers and it just glitters and um, my nan always said that like butterflies were uh, sort of messengers from the deceased the ancestors sorry and I just I hit it again and um, at her funeral outside the uh, place where the service was held there were these two big bushes and uh, they were just covered, absolutely covered on the day of her service in butterflies. And they were kind of lifted as we, as, um, as the people left the service. So, uh, yeah, just made me think of her, made everyone think of her. So anyway, that's week 45, guys. Back next week with week 46. I hope you've enjoyed this th video. It's been a bit of a trip down beloved memory lane for me so i hope you didn't mind all the waffling and coming with me down that memory lane um yeah if you like this video guys give it that thumbs up and uh, i will be back again very soon and i will leave the links i forgot to say to margaret miller's youtube and etsy store where i picked up the digital versions by um of the prompts down below and uh until next time guys i hope you're safe and I hope you're having lots of crafty fun. Bye for now, guys.